Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to do a brushed motor shootout. Um, don't know what I'm going to call this just yet, but as you can see here we've got a set of the Spintex. We've got a set of the Dark Editions. We've got a set, well, you can't tell that, but I wrote HK on the label because it's from Hobby King. And I have got a set of eBay Hubson replacements. And we're also going to test the multi rotor Superstore motors, but it's not really a straight test because I've been running these for a while. And I don't have any spares, and you can't seem to get them through them anymore. They There's some hubbub going on on Reddit. It's pretty short. I don't know if it's still you know, on the top of the list, but uh, under our multi-copter, I think, um, where there's some controversy about the multi-rotor Superstore. And within a short time of that kind of getting a lot of um, hits, um, Multi-Rotor Superstore changed its name to FPV Headquarters. Maybe that was already in the works. I don't know. But they don't have these most motors listed on their site, and supposedly, according to the Reddit thread, they can't get them anymore. Um, they're not admitting that, that, but that's just the internet. Anyways, so we're going to test. I don't, unfortunately, have a set of the uh, Banggood motors um, that you can buy. Uh, we're going to be testing with a uh, MyLipo. This is... If you can see through my Duralock, it's on the bottom. It's the, uh, I believe these are 430s. These are really good batteries. You can see here that they run a higher gauge of wire. It's actually a lower number, but a thicker 18 gauge wire. Can you see that? Come on, camera, focus, please. Maybe if I could hold still. No, it's not going to focus. But trust me, for a 1S battery, it's rare that you find 18 gauge wire on those. Um, I have got a specific rig that I'm going to test these on. It's brand new, except for the case of the multi-rotor superstore that I'm just going to test it on this. Uh, a couple other things to cover. The uh, uh, Spintech motors, those were 25 bucks. They come six to a box, which is kind of interesting, and they don't have um, connectors on them. You'll have to put your own connectors on. And they also, they now have 80 millimeter leads on them. They recently just changed out their stock due to customer requests. You can find these on Amazon, and I'll link to them down below if you still want them after the test. Um, these are Hobby King 8 millimeter motors. These are all 8 millimeter motors, and these are eBay ones. Um, and you'll note that I had to put connectors on these as well. The one the thing that I noticed about the eBay motors is they have a shorter motor stem sticking out, so that could be a benefit because you don't have to worry about as much about the stem taking a direct hit and popping the cap out. Um, the Hobby King motors also don't have connectors, so you're going to have to put those on. The only ones that come with connectors that we have in front of us are the 802017s by the Micro Motor Warehouse, the Dark Editions. What do they call these? Uh, uh, Oh, it's not freaky fast. That's Jimmy John's. Um, insane, insane speed. And we'll be using my steady scale, um, which I think is fairly accurate. And in some of the instances, you're going to see me probably tape this stuff down. And I'm probably also going to use an indicator to tell me which motor is which. We'll be using the same props on each. And again, inception is the multi order super store. Well, I don't even know what's relevant, but if you have some and you're curious about the amount of thrust, this is what you're getting. And the reason behind this is usually when you find these motors, you'll find that the motor vendors will post KV tests and thrust tests. But you don't have, I didn't find anybody who was just, you know, like me, just a guy sitting in his basement that's going, hmm, I wonder what the thrust is. Who cares about KV? Because thrust is what gets us in the air. KV, you know, it plays a role, but. You know, let's have an independent test, so to speak. I bought all these. No one sent me these. They came from my own wallet. So let's get to it. First up, let's go with the Spintech motors. I'm going to arm it and set it free. Oh, I saw 110 grams. Next up, we're going to go with the Micro Motor Warehouse 802017's Insane Edition. Set it free. 123! Oh. Next up is the Multi Rotor Superstore or FPV Headquarters or Unavailable Motors, whatever you want to call them. We set them free. 131! Now, wait a minute. Now, those motors have probably got 25 flights on them, and all the others are fresh 
The difference? I suppose the difference could be break-in. Well, let's go on. eBay Motors up next. 98 grams. And finally, we have the Hobby King 8mm motors. Oh, I saw 83 grams. There we have it. Is that definitive? Not necessarily. Um, I wouldn't put too much weight in the fact that these multi-rotor Superstore motors um, had more thrust than any of the others. Um, because I'm, I'm speculating here. I'm, I'm not a motor scientist. But I suspect there's something to breaking these in. Or possibly... Uh, no, I think it's got to have something to do with the break-in. Uh, and these props aren't even in very good shape. So that was a bit surprising. So what I do think is that if you break these motors in, you're going to get more thrust out of all of them. But I do think for the four motors that are all brand new, four different sets of motors that are all brand new, testing them straight out of the box is fairly valid because it's all equal ground. None of them have been broken in to my knowledge unless somebody has broken in the motors before they shipped them. But that seems, that seems labor intensive and kind of just delaying, delaying production. So I don't think that has happened. So, what's probably most interesting to me is that the eBay motors at, what do you get, a set of these for five bucks? They didn't do terrible for five bucks. 98 grams of thrust, that's respectable for five dollars. Um, maybe we'll see a tiny hoop, eight millimeter edition coming soon. Um, the Hobby King motors, those just aren't worth the time. Um, I'll probably end up clipping the leads off of these just so I can use them elsewhere. The Spintech motors, which they've been making lots of noise recently, 110 grams of thrust. I was a little bit disappointed in that. And quite honestly, I kind of expected more thrust out of the Dark Edition motors too. But there's more to flying than just pure thrust, of course. That gives us a pretty good baseline. We know what these motors will do straight out of the box. So the scale for broken in, if all things are equal, after the initial runs should scale up the same, you would think. So that gives you a pretty good idea what to expect out of these four motors. If I get a set of the Chioli motors, 8mm motors from uh, Banggood, I'll, I'll do those tests and then I'll throw a link up here uh, to that test as well. But one thing is for certain is I like these batteries. I bought a couple more. You can only get these from the Micromotor Warehouse even though they're my LiPo uh, batteries, I think. There's an agreement between um, MyLipo and Micromotor Warehouse because these are these are good batteries. These are my favorite batteries. I have not flown with the graphenes. I just think they're too big and heavy for my style of flight. So if you have any questions or comments, leave those in the section down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, why not hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. I've got a few things in the works in the coming weeks that are going to be a little bit different than what I've been doing. I'm not going to give that away just yet. Um, more builds on the way, more reviews. I've got some products coming in. Uh, I've got one build that I think is going to be several weeks out because I think it's going to be pretty tough, so I'm going to have to really sort that thing out. Um, but hit that subscribe button, and you won't miss a thing. All right, thanks for watching.